Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, in this video, we're going to start a new series, all right? And right now, I'm just going to explain to you what exactly I'm going to do, and then we'll jump into this next week. So, what I'm doing is this lumber mill here, I'm going to remove it, all right? We're going to take this out. I'm going to pack those buildings away. I don't like how this came out. Um, somewhat it's okay, but I, I want to do something better, something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this area into a scrap iron yard. Um, and I, I think that'll fit much better. And then what I'd like to have is two tracks coming in up at the top there. And yeah, I, I think that's, that's what's going to happen here. Um, we're going to leave these bottom tracks alone, right? But what does need to change, and this is part of the reason for wanting to redo this area, comes back to this right here. This area right here, you can see up at the top there, on the, on the far left, way up there, that's a train station. It's like a, a I view it as a small city train station. Um, a small town train station rather and it goes along with the rest of the town that's over on this side of the layout. Um, the problem I have with this is this area right in here. Um, aside from the backdrop which I, I do think I'm gonna change this whole backdrop out. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it and change it to something else. But that being said this area of the track work right here between right here going all the way back to about here this middle part needs to be changed this needs to raise up just a little bit okay so over on this side now that I'm on the other side I can actually reach things here um, what I want to do is right in right in this area right here especially this rise is too much okay and what happens is when when trains come through here they uh the, the locomotive will start to uh, climb the incline but it puts the back end down and the cars here haven't started the incline so what happens is the the couplers tend to misalign and they come disconnected um, this has to be fixed and then the other problem with right here is this turnout doesn't work correctly because of the way the incline is the uh, the turnouts a little twisted down okay so while, while it does you know operate here it's very tight because of the twist in the turnout so what I want to do is I want to cut the track work back here all right I'm going to cut it off back here all the way back to here and you can see if I take my straight edge and put it on here I don't know if it shows but you can see the gap that runs underneath that let me lay it on top of the rails here you can see it's about an eighth of an inch give or take um, so what I'd like to do is just raise up this part in the center here so that the incline starts back here as a whole and it raises up and meets to about right here. I just want to raise that up. Um, and then the other thing I'd like to do is as the, uh, once this incline is fixed and we have this track that goes back to the scrap yard, so then we've left the turnout and we're coming back to the scrap yard. I'd like to also put another turnout right in here and pull out a second track to go back. All right. And then I have two loading tracks. And then when I expand the layout, I'm gonna put an industry that goes with this to receive those scrap goods, some sort of a manufacturing place. I haven't figured that part out, but that's as far as I'm, I've gotten with that. 
and you know the good part is I haven't I haven't um, acquired a whole bunch of train cars yet right so I'm letting the layout as it evolves kind of tell me what I need okay so you've seen I've done the train station on the other side in past videos so I need passenger cars and I have um, a set of ten of them and and that should be more than enough maybe I'll get a couple more just to round things out of uh, like commuter type trains but uh, yeah so, so that's gonna go like that and um, I think beyond that uh, we were talking about in the past about the car wash and I really want to do this and I am working on it, it it's it's it <laughs> There's a lot involved. I, I, I've actually come up with a way, I believe, to not only make the brushes spin on it, but make the brushes actually move around the car, okay? But it's gonna take a bit of work and I still have to figure things out. And once I get everything worked out, I believe I'm gonna do a video for that. But I bring that up only because this spot right here, this big dirt spot, this area right here, is where the car wash is gonna go is what I'm thinking. Um, I think I can squeeze it in here. Um, at least I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard. And if I can't, I have a second spot. And actually, as I'm turning around and looking, it might actually be a better spot. But anyway, that's the idea for right here. And if it doesn't fit in here, then I'm definitely going to put something else in here. You know, these little bulbs here, these are going to go. This will all be part of this whole thing. Um, the small uh, the small general store will stay, but the building in the back down there, all of that stuff is going to be pulled out. It's going to stay dirt. And I've already started working on a backdrop to go back there for a scrap yard. I already have all of that. Um, so I, I suppose the next thing to do for me um, is to figure out how we're going to get rid of all of this backdrop. All right. And it is all going to go. I, I think I'm just going to paint over it. And part of the reasoning for that, it's not the actual painting that I have a problem with, but you, you can see the, uh, the whites up in here. This is done with oil paint, and this stuff takes like forever to dry, right? So when it finally dried, it all turned yellow. All these whites, they're not white anymore. They're more yellow, almost a tan. And I don't like that, and it's, it's just not holding up the way I, I, I had hoped it would. So, yeah, I, I think we're going to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to keep the, the, the board, the, the hardboard board backdrop piece and we're going to paint the whole thing over and then backdrop over that and uh, yeah that's going to finish that up but of course I need to come with backdrop all the way back up and it's going to meet where that mountain scenery is back there now the, the mountain back there I'm not getting rid of that right we're gonna put I'm gonna put backdrop up to it and cover just the front of it so that the mountain is still peeking up in the back behind the tunnel and all that stuff I want all that to stay but the, all the greenery is gonna get replaced all right so that's kinda of the idea um, that's gonna be the next project um, it's 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 quite a large project um, yeah so so it's it's quite a large project there's a lot going on um, as well as I have I want to finish off this building here that I built um, you know I put the loading docks in there but I don't know none of this actually looks the way it's, it's supposed to look. it looks great from the other side but this needs to be finished and detailed properly um, this is going to be a, a furniture company, which, uh, uh, you know, ultimately it had gone with the lumber mill over there because the theory was that, you know, the furniture company buys their wood from the lumber company 
But, you know, in thinking about it, this has been here for five years plus, along with the lumber company. And I, I just, every time I come down here, I, I look at it and I just think, you know, if I had a lumber company, right, uh, a, a place that needs wood from here, and the lumber company worked right across the street kind of a thing, where it's just down the road, why would I need a train to bring my stuff? I would just send a truck over there and get it, right? So that's kind of the thing. So this is gonna stay as is. I may change the, the, the company that it is, but you know, that was the thinking back then. And I wanna, I wanna change up all this stuff. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's the idea. That's our next project. And we're gonna start, like I said, we're gonna start by cutting track out and finishing this section right here. So that's the whole idea. Um, as well as I still have to, before I start this, I have to clean up this ginormous mess down here. Um, you can see the, 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 the mess there. That's from doing the city scene um, from the last series and all that stuff, which is now finished. I'm just waiting for my daughter to come and give me give me a hand taking photos of it so I can post it up on the website. Um, hopefully, I'll have those pictures up by the time I release this this video on on Friday. But mm, you never know. I mean, you, you know, I get busy. Everybody gets busy. So we we will see. But yeah. So just a short video this week. Um, that's all I have for right now. Um, we'll start next week on, on ripping stuff out and I'll show you how to, that's all ballasted and it's all glued down. I'll show you how I'm going to get rid of that. Um, most people probably already know how to do that, but you know, some people don't. So I'm, I'm going to cover that as well. We'll, we'll unballast and, and get everything out of there and, and start over fresh. If you're just finding me for the first time, and this piques your interest, please, by all means, subscribe. You know, hang out, look for the, uh, look for the rest of the series. Uh, I'm trying to post every Friday. Uh, it's been getting difficult, but I'm, I'm trying to get that out for every Friday. Uh, but subscribe to the channel and you'll know what's going on. Um, you can visit my website. It's mikestrains.wordpress.com. Um, there's where I put all my pictures for the layout. When I finish a project, I generally like to take pictures and throw them up there so you get a, a photo view of what's going on. Um, you know, photos can tell a lot. Video does some, but photos do more. So I like doing that. Um, and so keep an eye on that. So until next time, happy modeling.